Ho ho hello! Thank you for stopping by. My name is Becky and this is Bex Reads and today I'm gonna take you on a bookstore adventure. During Thanksgiving my sister and my friend Yami and I we went to Salem, Massachusetts. My sister and I like to go to Salem at least once a year and this year we decided to go around Thanksgiving hoping that it would be a less busy and it was totally was. I do not ever recommend going to Salem, Massachusetts in the month of October. Don't do it. You've been warned. It's chaotic. It's crowded as shit. You won't get to see or do anything because you'll be waiting in line. So yeah, go in November. It may be colder, but we still had a great old time. We went to Winter Island. We had on fancy dresses. We took pictures. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen some of that. Um, we just went around and I actually did some new stuff in Salem that I haven't done. My friend Yami and I went to the Wax Museum, which is kind of corny. It's not something that I recommend spending your money to do in Salem because it is very corny. But she had never done it, so I was like, well, while we're here, we might as well do it. Uh, but then we went to the Witch History Museum, which is something I had never done. It was really interesting. A lot of it I had already knew, but I learned a couple new things. We went to the witch house, which I had never been to before either. If you like seeing like old setups of like colonial houses and stuff, it might be worth your money, but it's not something that I would ever like pay to do again. Uh, we saw the Ropes Mansion and Gardens, which is the house that Allison's house is in Hocus Pocus. Again, because it was November, we didn't have to stand in line to see it and take pictures. We walked right through the gardens. They were pretty bare because everything's dead. Uh, but it was interesting to do that as well. And then, getting on to the bookstore, the next day we went into Boston and we found two bookstores to visit. The first bookstore that we visited was a Brattle Bookshop, so here's some footage of me exploring that bookstore. like older and used books you would probably really enjoy this. They have a really nice outside setup that's sort of in an empty lot in between buildings which is really cute. I only filmed the bottom floor of the store because I stopped filming and then I realized there's a whole nother level but up top it's mostly like non-fiction books. I didn't spot a whole lot of books in the store that I liked because most of it is like older used books that don't appeal to me. But they had a holiday selection, which is what captured my eye, because if you can't tell based on my shelves, I do like holiday stories, especially children's holiday stories. So I bought three holiday stories here. The first one that I picked up is Certain Poor Shepherds, A Christmas Tale by Elizabeth Marshall Thomas. This cover caught my eye. I thought it was super cute. It's got some cute little end papers. It's got some illustrations throughout it and it's got a ribbon. So I thought that was really cute. Hopefully I will get it read this Christmas. I then found a children's edition of the Nutcracker. If you've seen any of my videos recently, you will know that after reading uh, oh shoot, it's way up here, you can't see it. But after reading Midnight in Everwood, which is a Nutcracker retelling, it got me interested in reading the Nutcracker stories. I've never actually read the original Nutcracker tale, but I saw this children's book there and it literally is a young reader's edition of the holiday classic. Just got some pictures in it and it tells the story. So I do plan on reading this this month. And then this really cool story that I don't know what it's about at all, but it's an old book. It is called The Romance of a Christmas Card by Kate Douglas Wiggin. Look at this old ass book. It's got this really cool texture right here. It's got really cool end paper. And when I opened it, I noticed that it had this name with December 25th, 
either 1915 or 1918. So somebody owned this way back when, which is so cool. I hope this is a good story. It's got illustrations throughout. I don't think it's a romance of any kind. I just think it tells the story of Christmas cards. So I'm hoping again to read that this month. I also picked up a tote bag for my tote bag collection, which just says a Brattle Bookshop. It is a recyclable tote and it like folds up. How the hell does it fold up? I don't know. Something like that. And then you snap it together so it's like really compactable, but it's just going to go on my wall. I also got a magnet that says Brattle Bookshop because I, I collect bookmarks from stores because all of them have bookmarks. But if I can get magnets, I will. So I can just put them on my metal of my bookshelf. I will say this isn't my type of bookstore. Like I mentioned, it sells older used books. And if I was into that, if I wanted to collect just pretty editions of old books, maybe it would be a great bookstore for me to go back to. Nobody really greeted me when I walked in. Um, the store itself, while clean and organized, is very close quarters. So when you're walking down an aisle, I constantly had to be like, excuse me, excuse me, and shuffle behind people because the aisles are so narrow. So you might stop in if you're in Boston and check it out. Now, the next bookstore that we visited, we visited because it is a bookstore cafe, and that's what intrigued me about it. But this bookstore, I loved. So here is some footage of us going through that. It's got, look at all this romance. <laughs> I am so happy. Oh, here's Verity if you were looking for it. Oh, thank you. I'm sure they do. I mean, they seem to have everything else. I don't see for... For Eva work? Yeah. It's right at the end of fiction. It's a lot oh. of stuff in fiction. Okay.
as you can see, this has a very big selection of books to choose from. It is two stories. Um, most of the young adult and like middle grade is upstairs, whereas everything else is downstairs. Their romance selection. Oh my God. If you didn't hear, if I didn't leave the audio in, in this thing, when I saw, I was like, oh my God, look at all this romance. I was in romance heaven. It is a pretty crowded bookstore and I see why because I really enjoyed it in there. I loved the selection of books. It's clean. It's tidy. There were workers all around the store and when we couldn't find something I just asked one of them and they were there. Uh, some of them were like can I help you find anything? So it had great customer service. So the books I picked up there I picked up two romances. I picked up When You Are Mine by Kennedy Ryan. I've really been loving Kennedy Ryan's books. And when I saw this one there, I'm really hoping that this is the first in a series. I really hope I didn't pick up like the third book in the series or something. I guess if I did, I'm going to have to go back and re read the other ones. But I have no idea what this is. All I know is it's Kennedy Ryan and I want to read more of her books. The next book I picked up is also a romance and it is Kiss and Spell by Celeste Martin. I'm not the biggest fan of this cover, but Kiss and Spell, I'm sure it has something to do with witches. Hoping that it's good. And then the last book I picked up is Sign Here by... Claudia Lux. I had to go answer the door. Anyway, where was I? The last book I picked up was Sign Here by Claudia Lux. I have heard of this. This is supposed to be a humorous horror about somebody who works for the devil. What I've heard about it just made it sound like something I would really enjoy. So I'm hoping that this is good as well. I also picked up a cheap tote bag from them to add to the tote bag collection. And they had magnets there but they were like oh they're way at the back of the bookstore and I was like I, I don't feel like going back there but I did get a bookmark that I can eventually turn in to a magnet but once we were done with the bookstore side Yami and I decided to stay there and have dinner I have never eaten dinner in a bookstore before so I was like hell yes let me come here first of all amazing service we were seated really quickly and this place was packed it was really busy but we were seated right away they have this really cool way of ordering your food that i have never done at a restaurant before but it's pretty much like ordering from doordash you scan the qr code at your table and it brings up everything that they have to offer and you just go through it and select what you want you pay for it right there it sends it to them in the back and then they bring it out to you which was a really quick and effective system, I think. Now, it is a pretty pricey place to eat, I'm not going to lie. I spent just as much eating as I did on the books. <laughs> but, like I said, I had never eaten at a bookstore before, so I was like, screw it, I don't care, I'm on vacation. Treat yourself. <laughs> but their food selection was really great. They have, like, vegetarian options and gluten-free options, and they have a whole ton of, like, actual meals plus desserts and like your regular cafe fair type stuff. They have lots of drinks and things like that. They have like an all-day breakfast that you can choose from. I ended up getting the beef stew which was really hearty and filling the bread was amazing. I also got a cinnamon and orange creme brulee which creme brulee is one of my favorite desserts but sometimes it can be a little too sweet for me and this was not this was just right and it was delicious and i got a london fog to drink which was also very good yummy she got like a loaded um grilled cheese which looked really yummy and like these large tater tots that were about like this big with cheese in them looked really good and she got a pumpkin pie frappe which she let me taste and it was really good too it literally tasted like a pumpkin pie cupcake in frappe form. So I thoroughly enjoyed my time at this bookstore. If I were ever in Boston, I would definitely go back. I would eat again there despite how pricey it was because it was great. I loved the service. I loved the food selection. I loved the ambiance, even though it was loud and crowded. I loved the book selection. 
and it was it was a great time so i definitely recommend if you are in boston to check out trident bookstore and cafe thank you for coming on this bookstore adventure vlog with me let me know down in the comments have you ever been to either of these bookstores in boston or would you want to but if you don't feel like commenting that but would like to let me know that you made it to the end of this video could you leave me a little shopping bag emoji for buying books and with that being said thank you so much for watching and i will see you tomorrow for another day of bookmas bye